Hello, my bitch Toycat, and today I want to talk about making the transition from Minecraft for Extra 6D to the PC version. Because uh, a lot of you guys want to uh, do that, and you write in the comments and stuff that you're upset that you have an outdated version of Minecraft. So I wanted to let you guys know how you can play on the PC if you have, let's say, a less than good machine. Uh, because Minecraft is actually quite a resource intensive game. Um, so, you know, it's not. It doesn't run on everything as you might expect for a game with the graphical style, perhaps, of Minecraft. Um, but yeah, the, the reason most people want to upgrade is because, uh, as you can see in the bottom left there, it's Minecraft 1.3.2 on the PC, whereas on the Xbox we have Beta 1.8, which is, like, essentially 0.5 behind, if that makes sense. Um, so there's there's a fair amount of features in the PC version if you're interested and want to do this. So, um, first of all, getting Minecraft. Um, if you don't know if Minecraft's going to run on your machine, or I, I keep saying machine for some reason, uh, but if you don't know if Minecraft's going to run on your computer or laptop or whatever properly, um, then I'd recommend just downloading it in a less than legitimate way. Uh, Notch has said it's okay on Twitter, don't worry, it's, it's totally cool. Um, <laughs> like, uh, I'll, I'll get the tweet and put it on screen somewhere, I guess. Um, but it, as long as, if, if you feel the game's good, obviously buy it, and you can't play multiplayer without buying it, so there's, there's incentive in that, so, uh, just get the game in whatever way you need to, because if you're just testing it to see if it works, you obviously don't need to pay for it, so let's just, uh, jump right in anyway. Uh, so if you want, first, when you get it, you might notice it runs a bit badly on the default settings, if so, that's what this guide's for. Uh, but first of all, before I say anything like that, um, if you are going to get Minecraft on the PC and you have a laptop, uh, first of all, I'd recommend, one, it probably won't run on a laptop because most laptops have somewhat old technology. That's a, just a fun thing. But if, if it does run on your thing, be sure to get a uh, dedicated mouse. They're literally like £2 on eBay or like $2 for you uh, goddamn Americans. But uh, it's, they're, they're like two. Uh, mine costs £1.62 on eBay. Um, and it's, it's just so much better for controlling uh, games like Minecraft with... Uh, it, w it really will improve your experience. So get a mouse if you're on a laptop. It seriously will help. So, um, so first of all, uh, if, you, if your game's not running properly when you go into single player, we'll just go in there now. Uh, getting Minecraft to run. And then we'll put a bonus chest on because why not? Um, <laughs> and I'll just quickly show you now. If you, if you load it up, you build your world. Wait like a few seconds because when you build the terrain, like right now during the building terrain, I'm getting 5 frames a second. Uh, now I'm on 10, 12, there we go. Um, as you can see, it's even laggy for me. Uh, that's probably because I'm recording, but like it lags a little bit when you first create the world. Just, just a little load. As you can see, it's just loading up my render distance. Um, and once it all fixes, has it... See, then, then you get smooth. Uh, if after this, it's still not smooth. Let me just find my bonus chest. Is that a pumpkin on my chest? Uh, it's my chest. Um, <laughs> but as you can see, after, after you do this, if it's still laggy and you're getting, like, really sluggish, like, doing this sort of thing, let me just try and replicate lagging. If this sort of thing happens, then uh, that's, that's what this is for. You go back, uh, or you can just go straight to options here. Uh, go to video settings. Uh, here are the ideal, the minimum requirements uh, video settings. Uh, so, well, these aren't right now, but uh, graphics, you want to have them on fast. Uh, fancy doesn't really look that much better. I don't see it anyway. Uh, smooth lighting off because it takes up some lighting calculations, which I don't think makes that big a difference. But you want to try and uh, make a thing. GUI scale and 3D anagraph don't make any difference. Brightness, again, no difference. Or at least no notable difference. Uh, particles, you're going to want to turn those off, or min or minimal at least. Um, render distance, this is a big one because it will sort of limit your gaming experience, but you're going to want to put this on tiny. Uh, if, try, try it on short, I'd recommend trying it on short first. Uh, let me just show you what short's like. Um, I'd recommend trying it on short first because short's, you know, reasonable, whereas tiny is uh, less than reasonable. Uh, but you know, if if, you, if that's what you have to do to get it to run, that's what you have to do. Um, and that will make a pretty big difference. So try it with Tiny and all this stuff. And if it's still a little bit laggy, um, I'm getting 120 FPS right now. Uh, should be getting higher, but I'm not, but whatever. Um, <laughs> God damn, Troy in his FPS talk. Um, then after that, you're going to want to go with uh, performance. Uh, I think by default it's on balanced, but you're going to want to put on max FPS. Uh, if you have a laptop and you don't have it plugged in, I guess power saver, but I don't see any reason to go for anything but max FPS, so that's always what I go for. View bobbing, um, doubt it makes any difference, but I don't know 100%. I should probably know these things or something like that, so I don't know. Um, advanced OpenGL, uh, you're going to want to turn that on. Uh, it, if 
it, it will either help you out or it won't do anything if I know how it works because it just utilizes your uh, your you know GP GPL uh, your GPU a little bit more, which is good, so I guess. Uh, so you want to turn that on. Uh, if you have a graphics card, if not, then it doesn't really matter. But you turn it on anyway, just in case you have one that you don't know about. I don't know, then turn clouds off because they take up a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of uh, your thingamajig. So then once you've got this going, uh, this is the minimum uh, Minecraft thing. If, if after all of this, Minecraft is still not running smooth enough for you. Um, by the way, you get, some, you get a little bit of performance drop when you go below ground a little, but don't worry about it too much. It... It, it should see now, but um, if after all of this, Minecraft's still not running, here is here is the final. This is this is one most people don't know about. I probably should put this in the middle, uh, in the beginning somewhere, so people didn't just think I was being condescending. Uh, Blizzard's four bit or any four bit texture pack. Um, their texture packs are actually smaller than the default texture in Minecraft. So when you um, you know, go into Minecraft, it essentially runs easier because they're smaller textures. Uh, the one downside is it takes a while for it to stabilize I think is the correct way to say it um, like for everything to get okay and um, you know like stable uh, so wait like a few seconds not a few seconds like 20 seconds and then start trying it out if this is fine then BAM I've just done you something really nice thank you uh, well done if not then uh, I'm out of ideas there are probably some mods you can download to make it run easier but I don't have any real experience of them so I wouldn't really recommend it that much um, but yeah, if so, um, you might think this texture pack is like really dodgy and you won't like it, but uh, here's the thing about Minecraft, uh, generally speaking, you can learn to like pretty much any texture pack. Like this one actually is pretty cool, like uh, look at the sheep, actually the sheep looks pretty normal. Sheep looks entirely normal actually, uh, but yeah, getting used to texture packs, like, this, is a, this is a pretty funky texture pack and there's quite a few 4-bit ones, so I'll leave a link to this one in the description if you want to play with this one. Um, and hopefully Minecraft runs on the PC properly for you, and uh, bam. Uh, it's Also, I might do one on how to upload and download custom maps if you guys are interested. Uh, not upload, just download. Um, also, text packs and stuff. Might do a video on all of those because not everyone knows really, obviously. And there is guides and stuff on all the forums where you download them. But you know, maybe, maybe people want to hear it from me for whatever reason. But yeah, if you want to see one of those, just let me know. As you can see, I'm getting random FPS drop here. It's just, it's just something that happens with Minecraft. Um, as long as it's not a constant thing, you should be just okay. Um, but yeah, um, also another another pro tip. If you have a uh, graphics card, uh, download the latest drivers. Uh, you might not have them. Just Google, you know, latest drivers for your graphics card. Uh, that's that's another little handy thing. Like uh, the latest ones from my NVIDIA GPU uh, gave it like a 30% increase, which is good, obviously. Uh, so just just a pro tip. Anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, just a just a recap. Uh, this text pack, if it works for you, that's good. Um, the reason I don't use it all the time is because I just like default. Um, but I'd recommend downloading this. Uh, and then also, in addition to this, these are the options you want to want to use. Uh, maybe pause it, remember them, uh, whatever it takes. Um, also, if you wonder what GUI scale is, because I didn't even go over that, uh, this is the scale off the um, you know this this thing. As you can see, it just goes to. There we go. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. But anyway, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it taught you something. If it did, uh, like or comment letting me know, woo, I can now play Minecraft on the PC. And once it does work uh, properly, uh, I'd recommend buying the full game properly because, honestly, uh, support, support notch. Also, you can't play multiplayer without a, uh, you know, paying for the game. So there's there's good reason for you to do it right there. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you if it helped you out, leave a comment and let me know so I can feel awesome about myself. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.